too small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Welcome to Portage View Farm. I'm Kay um, and this is Gypsy and she is our Nigerian dwarf goat and we raise these Nigerian dwarf goats because number one when we we're first getting into goats with my youngest daughter um, she started with pygmy goats and later found out that they aren't really much use they are just kind of a lawn ornament and they won't even eat your lawn Anyway, so I started looking around and found these Nigerian goats, and they're small like a pygmy goat, and they have great tasting milk. They have one of the highest butterfat contents in their milk, and it tastes delicious. You can't even tell the difference. That's my opinion. But we love these little goats, and right now I'm milking three goats, and that gives um, us, um, Jeff and I, and then Jordan and her family, enough milk that we don't have to go to the grocery store and buy milk for the season. So now, this is a simple pulse machine and this is their new design. I had their old one and it was worked just great but when I saw this one that came out and that you can actually put a filter right on top of here. They have these little filters and you can put it in here and you, so you don't have to filter your milk after you're done. It's just it's ready to go in the jar. But this is really great. This is a system that you could milk two goats at a time. Right now I just do one because it's just as fast to do it one at a time and it goes super fast. I think they get milked out in probably about two minutes. I'm going to walk you through exactly the steps you need to do before you start milking. First of all I have some wipes and these are just, you can use baby wipes, some people make their own wipes. You can use a bucket of soapy water and a towel but you would want to wash that every day or use a clean one every day. Anyways, you're just going to wipe the teat and you're not going to wipe that whole udder, you're just going to wipe just the teat. And Gypsy gets, I know I just talked about her. <laughs> she is good on the stand but she gets nervous sometimes. She's just funny that way. But anyways, you wipe it. Just the part. You don't want to wash that whole udder because you don't want all the extra dirt coming down. And then I will express a little bit of milk out and that's just to clear the orifices. A lot of people will do it into a strip cup, a little cup, and they might be looking for clots or blood in case your goat might have mastitis. So that's something you want to look for. I don't do that just because I know my goats and you can even squeeze it into your little um, wipe here and you could see if there was any blood or anything like that. But clear the orifices. Then we're gonna start up the machine and get her hooked up. Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me 
break me No, no, nothing can break me Look at the beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Completely done you might have seen me clearing the inflators and that's just clearing all the milk out of the line and then what I do is right when I'm done is I take this off this is going to be my cleaning jar when I clean the lines and I get this right off because one time my cleaning solution went into my milk one time and then I had to cry but there's our milk for the day and it's going to go right into this refrigerator that way I can go and finish my chores and don't have to worry about getting my milk chilled down right away. So, we want to talk a little bit about if your goats do have kids and you don't need to wait until they're weaned to start milking. You can start milking after two weeks. We give our mamas and their kids two weeks to bond and um, get it down to nursing. And then at night, we'll separate the kids from the mamas and we'll milk the mamas out in the morning and turn them back with the kids and the kids are happy and nurse all day and they're perfectly fine doing that. They can go the night without it. If you're going to do that, just make sure that you are consistently the same time every day. So one night, don't take them off at seven, but then you don't milk your goat till like nine o'clock in the morning. You, if you're taking them off at seven o'clock at night, you want to get up here and get your goats milked out at seven in the morning so those mamas can get back with their kids. So this is our little bathroom up here in the back of the barn. It's really coming in handy. My dad put it in. My dad was an industrial plumber. So we have a lot of plumbing all over this property, which is awesome. But we have some hot water in here and I have two buckets. And these I think are, I can't remember what these were. I think they're about a three gallon maybe. Um, that's about all you need, you know, three to four gallons. You don't need a big five gallon bucket. But I have two dedicated buckets. I don't let anyone use them. This is for my cleaning of my milk lines. And so one's going to get some non dish soap, and it's just a little squirt. You don't need very much. And then the other one gets a little splash of Clorox bleach. And then Clorox will get hot, hot water. The soapy water will be lukewarm, and that one will clean your milk lines first. And you do lukewarm because hot water makes those milk enzymes stick to surfaces, and then your lines look dirty. They're not dirty, but those um, enzymes are embedded in there. So lukewarm water first flushes it out. Hot water to sterilize it. Not hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. mention every Tuesday and Friday I do a vinegar wash. Um, you can get an acid cleaner like a milk line cleaner but um, vinegar works just as well and I only fill this bucket about halfway full of hot water and about a half a cup of vinegar and the reason I have these bigger buckets is because I'm gonna get my milk lines in there and kind of wash them around but with the vinegar I just need to suck some through the lines. One thing I also do every Saturday is I take everything apart and clean it. I clean this milk line with a brush. It gets a cable brush run through it and um, these are left to soak for the day and then I put it back together at night and that just has to be done once a week but pretty simple. It went pretty quick. It doesn't take long at all to clean this machine. It's um, really great. I really love and it. So that's how we milk our Nigerians and really simple. I suggest a simple pulse. I love it but there's many options out there for you to milk your goats and like and subscribe. See you later.